The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. And I'd like to welcome you to the Wednesday, October 1st edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just rants with a cup of joe. And today I'm going to rant about peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of requests. Uh, it's amazing the number of requests that I've had from uh, Eukenix affidavits on how to build this peacock. Um, no, no, it's not my design. I mean, I got this thing uh, right out of my 80 model kit. Uh, before I get into this thing, let me show you the 80 model kit. I know it's a rare kit these days. See this big old box? I mean, this is a magnificent uh, kit. Oop. Full of, uh, it, it retailed for around $79. It's impossible to find now. I have two of them. There's uh, two large kits. One's called a 50 model kit, the old 50 model kit, and then this 80 model kit. And the 80 model kit came with two sets of instructions. Uh, the one set was for the spring motor, and the other set was uh, for uh, the regular motor. And this is book two of the 80 model kit. If you are a Kenex builder and would like to have the greatest selection of uh, kit uh, models available from one kit, this is probably the kit to get if you can find it on eBay. Every once in a while it sticks its, its head up uh, on eBay or, or can, uh, uh, on, 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 uh, on Amazon. So you might want to check. The other thing, the other option is if you want to spend around $150 you can get the K8 General Construction Set. It comes in two boxes and it it's not uh, it, it's, a, it's an older set than this, but it has a manual that's just as extensive. Anyhow, I was, I've was i been asked by uh, numerous Kenex uh, builders to show you how to build this thing. So what I'm going to do, as I'm talking, I'm going to just show you uh, the, the instructions. It... Uh, it's an easy build. It takes probably, uh, it took me an hour and a half to build this sucker. And I'm doing it this way. Kenex is really difficult to build. Uh, it's a challenge to, let's say it's a challenge to build when you're looking at the model because there's so many, we'll take a look, there's just so many twists and turns and things. It's hard to... And since this thing is out of print and it's very difficult to find, I thought it appropriate to kind of go slow. I built this model, by the way, quite a long time ago with, a, with my early, an early camera. It was not a DV camera. For your information, some of the first uh, videos that I made were made on a Kodak still camera with a uh, video. And it was a low resolution uh, camera. So when you're looking at some of my older videos, that, that'll, that'll be adequate enough, I think, to build it. When you're looking at some of the older videos, you'll see a, a, a remarkable degradation in quality and that's because the video quality of the older digital camera I used was just 240 by uh, whatever instead of uh, the regular 700 by 480 for DV quality. Anyhow this is going to be, and note how the, that snowflake overlaps this is really the tricky part right down here. This is a fun model, guys. If you have a Kenex kit, you ought to try to build this thing and just run it around, turn it on every once in a while to put a smile on your face. <laughs>
because it is a fun model. I have a, a number of older models that I'm going to be redoing on DV camera just because I want to do it. <laughs> Anyhow, that'll, that'll be enough. If you're a Kenex builder, you got to try to get this one built. This is fun. Uh, a galloping, strutting peacock for your building pleasure. Bill and Red and a very, very frisky robot. Signing off. And my robot says sayonara, friends. Sayonara.